Aloha friends, I'm sitting here with Dara Dung, who is a former pageant queen, host, model, and actress. She has done numerous community work and she is an animal lover. So here we have her dog Shiloh and we're just gonna get to know her a little better today. So mahalo for being here. Thank you so much for having us. <laughs> so first question is that you were featured on Midweek with all of your dogs. And I want to know how that happened. What was the shoot like and what are your dog's names? First of all, that was a feat in itself. To get five <laughs> unleashed dogs to look at one point was amazing. So um, thank you Midweek for <laughs> the tolerance that went into that. But it was to help promote a column that I'm doing. It just started, it's called Mahalo Nui. And basically what it does is recognize people in the community doing good things. So what we do is ask people to write about other people who have done wonderful work, either for them or their family or, you know, an organization that they'd like to recognize. So um, my email address, I'm going to do like a soft plug now. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's mahalanui with Dara at gmail.com. So please write to me and let me know all of the great things that, you know, you're experiencing in your life with people. And so when people write to you, will they be featured? Will everyone or you, do you choose certain things? No, I feature everyone. Oh, wow. Um, okay. And what we do is we also contact the people that they write about so they know that they're going to be recognized and then they can always write a response you know of how appreciative they are of that people so it's kind of just like a, a very cyclical positive environment awesome yeah. <laughs> well speaking of that since you have done you know so much for our community and now you have the mahalo nui column how did that all begin where did that even come from I mean, I want to say that it started with my parents back in the day. They were the ones who got involved in everything that we did. So they volunteered at all of our schools. They started the recycling program at our elementary schools, um, fundraisers that we, you know, would fundraise and sell boiled peanuts mm -hmm. or, you know, collect receipts. I don't know if you remember that yes. program. We would collect receipts to help get computers for our schools. So I think just leading by example. I saw what they were doing and I wanted to be a part of that too. So I joined a group called Echelon and mm -hmm. we are the younger generation of wow. uh, leaders who want to volunteer in the community, feed the homeless, um, donate school supplies. We kind of do it all and uh, yeah, it just it works hand in hand. It, it's a wonderful thing. So aside from that as well, being, you know, working in the community, doing all of that work, you are an animal lover. <laughs> and so how do you bridge those two things? You know, being an animal lover, but also doing community work. What, what have you done so far? Well, I think it's very easy to make the connection because there are so many organizations that I do because I'm an animal lover. So we do a, an event called the Celebrity and Their Pets Fashion Show every year at the Hawaii Woman Expo and we're able to adopt out these shelter animals mm -hmm. and so when when I say celebrities and their pets it's really the pets that we're focused on so we have <laughs> local celebrities walk the runway and showcase either animals they have adopted which is what we do or animals that are up for adoption and every year it's a huge success we adopt wow. out every single cat and dog um, and so yeah it's, it's awesome being a part of that and I we got two of our five from that so we got Shiloh and Gage and we also have Harley, Draco, and Stitch. So wow. yeah, it's a full house. <laughs> it must be. It must be fun though. You're never lonely at home. Our, our iRobot is like working overtime. It's like, <laughs> Do they get scared of the iRobot? No, they like it oh, actually. Really? They just kind of stare at it until it gets to them and then they jump out of the and way. They go but away. They... <laughs> yeah, I have um, a friend's dog who doesn't like the iRobot or when it goes around, yeah. he like, is so scared of yeah. it. Um, <laughs> we could so probably funny. make another dog out of all the fur that it picks up. <laughs> after five shed in our house <laughs> <laughs> and on OC 16 you know speaking of all of your dogs you have your show Pet Hui yes and is there anything coming up with Pet Hui or what do you do exactly on Pet Hui so it's the only television show in Hawaii about pets so basically we feature everything that you can imagine that's pet related and it's not just dogs and cats I mean we've filmed at a miniature horse farm to educate people on that we've done uh, ducks and we do turtles so wow. it's really just all things pets that you can imagine and we also promote local businesses I think it's so important to give back to these local businesses yes. especially now during this time so I feel like we we also encourage people to shop local yeah definitely yeah. so where can we watch Pet Hui where can everyone tune in so we do new episodes every two weeks and they air on Sunday nights at 9 on Spectrum OC 16. But they're really all throughout the week. I've heard they're every morning at 5 a.m. Wow. and then just multiple, you know, various 
different times throughout the week. So, cool. yeah. And can you also see it on YouTube and stuff like that? I think you can catch snippets of snippets? it. Yeah, not the entire episode, but if you want, you know, just to see clips, you can go on YouTube. Oh, perfect. Yeah. And then people can always check out, you know, the updates on Facebook and Instagram as well. Oh, perfect. Yeah. And speaking on being on, on TV, so during quarantine, the the movie The Wrong Missy <laughs> came to life and it was on Netflix and you were actually in that movie. So yes. can you explain what that was like? Because I'm sure viewers out there has, you know, have watched The Wrong Missy and I loved it. It was so funny. Um, so how was Thank that for you. you? Thank you for watching. Well, I think it was number one on Netflix for like close to a month. Mm -hmm. So that was awesome and very exciting. We filmed that obviously pre-COVID mm -hmm. and I think it came out during the right time because everyone was home yeah. and everyone, everyone wanted to see it and what I loved about it, it's an Adam Sandler production that starred David Spade um, and I had a role as a hotel worker but I love that Adam Sandler always films, one in Hawaii yes. and two chooses to use local talent. I think that it's so important just to keep our economy going and mm -hmm. you know we have so many actors here in just in our state so he doesn't fly in everyone from LA and New York. We always like use whether it be for background or a principal role so yeah and it's just it's super exciting and yet very <laughs> mellow to be on his set because it's pretty much the environment that he perpetuates. You know mm -hmm. he's very chill and he kind of lets people method act I want to yeah. say and get into their role so yeah it's it's local people who are running catering and wow. you know the craft food so mm -hmm. you kind of feel at home on set which is awesome Even and you got to work with him closely too he or actually just produced it so he wasn't in the movie at all but I got to you know work with work him with behind him. the scenes yeah. and see him and his daughters are in it his wife is in it and oh then wow I didn't know that and then of course his whole family which is Rob Schneider yeah. and you know the, the whole, the whole 50 yeah. first dates um, exactly whoever's crew. in Waterboy or whatever all his movies. Ooh, yeah. Exciting. Alrighty, well, aside from everything else, is there anything that you're working on that we should be looking forward to? Um, well, so now a lot of our auditions are over videos, so it's a little bit more difficult to um, come by work because a lot of productions aren't opening up again. Mm -hmm. But once they do, then yeah, I hope to be auditioning more. And right now, just focusing on my column and volunteering and, yes. you know, the pet hui. <laughs> so many things. And everyone, make sure to turn in those Mahalo Nui yes, um, emails to Dara. And where can we send it again? Can you just yes, mention all the things that we course. can do? Of course, go to Mahalo Nui with Dara at gmail.com. And really, I mean, there are so many good things that people are doing in the community. And I think letter writing probably isn't you know on the forefront of people's minds but it really makes a difference and people read midweek and they want to hear about all the positivity that's happening in a world that might seem so negative right now I think a lot of times they're just looking for a bright light so we just hope that that's what that column provides so awesome. well we need more people like Dara in Hawaii so please send on those emails to support her new Mahalo Nui column and we're so appreciative for you being here today. Thank you so, so much. So Mahalo for joining thank us. You. And thanks Shiloh. Hey, thank you Shiloh. <laughs> <laughs>